What's up guys? Welcome back to another fix it video here in the studio. Today we're going to be swapping out these PTFE tubes in the K2 from the inside to the outside, the spool holder and the CFS one. We're just doing the short ones today because I've only got a couple of meters of tube here to do. I thought about doing the high also but I just didn't have enough to get that done as well. Over here in our parts cabinet we've got a couple of meters of the Creality Ultra Smooth PTFE tube. Unfortunately, these are gray in color and they're not as translucent as the regular white ones, so you can't see the filament through these as well. First thing we want to do, of course, make sure that the filament is out of the machine, nothing in any of the tubes. Once that's all set, then we can start taking the tubes off and getting them swapped out. All right, here we are with our top down view so we can get the work started. Our little coupler here, push the little end in and pop that tube out. Always make sure to push those little ends in to release the teeth or you will destroy the coupler. Now we got the short tube removed. We're going to take off the safety clip on the back. This little horseshoe clip that prevents the button from being pushed and the fitting from sliding off. Now we can pop that fitting off completely. And there it is. A Bowden tube PTFE tube coupler. All right. Now that we got a good view, we can take out the inside parts. We got another horseshoe clip here. And the Bowden thing on the inside here is just a stopper. That's the stopper right there. And we're just going to pull this whole tube right out of that little sleeve. And there it is. See the little stopper? You depress the button just like any other connector and it slides right off. Again, it's just a stopper to keep the tube from going in or out. And there it goes. And there it is again. That big flat white piece on top is just a tube holder so that it doesn't get kinked or bent too hard. So now we're gonna pop that tube right out of the extruder, pull it up through the holder, just like that. Now we can pull it out through the brackets and that's it. The old one is out. All right, here's our new cable, sorry, new tube next to our old tube. And as a quick test, we can just slide the filament in and out of here, fine and smooth, just like always. Now the new one, pretty much the same, maybe a little bit Bit better. Nothing noticeably different though. Off screen, I made some cuts to the right length, got them reinstalled the same way we took them back out. All the clips back together, everything looks good. Like I said earlier, you can't see filament through it anymore, but they look good and they work just as well. So that works for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. This, this is inside five five.